Hey, welcome to Multinet Design. In the continuation of our body, I'm mad many filler. So in Revit 2024. So in this particular episode, we are going to be doing ID and beautifying of this uh, project. So this is where far we have gone. This is the all the plans and every other thing. So we have the elevation in place. So we have the second elevation. So we have the whole elevation right there in our front. So 3D as well, if you click engaging aspects, so whatever you are thinking of. So we are going to create all the areas successfully at this point. So if you have never been watching before, try to watch from the beginning how we were able to create the floor plan. Right from the floor plan, create the second one. Then to the point that we are causing to the 3D perfectly. So, and if you have never been a subscriber member, kindly subscribe to this channel for the enjoyment of the daily tutorial we are bringing down to you based on the project aspects. So, thanks for watching. So, we go to foundation. From the foundation, what we need to do create components, model in place. So, pure use casement or site for site. So click on sites and then you click OK. So from there you create your site. Just call it site point. So you see that and say OK. So at this point you just use a solution to create whatever you want to create. And what we want to do is to create the flower first, where flower is going to be staying around this building. So it's just for aesthetic purpose and beautification. So you do that. Then you click it again. So this time around you have set it by 700 and you put it here and you do the same thing. So to the engaging aspects you need to remove the, the one that have uh, joined part with this. So you click this. No, sorry. Okay, you can just leave it. So you align it with this. Click align. So click on press escape. Press escape again, then you click on line. So you draw the line from here and click it here. So split this into two, then you do the drawing by. So you finish it up here. So you click that side and stop. So you have issue, if you have issue with the back side too, you can work on that by clicking edit. So from the editing, then you click here. And then you, you flow to that area. So you click this one again to remove it. So the same pattern flow to and you say click finish. So when you click finish, your material needs to be dealt with. So you click the remove the associate. The material needs to be dealt with engage it. So you put on material to the space and see how far. So after which you have done with this, you can just click on a million ten and say okay finish because you are just going to use the same thing. So at that point you move this one and say copy one. So copy one press enter. What you do is that you edit it, say edit. So at the editing, then what you offset by offsetting this off. So it's offsetting is 100, which is okay. So just see 100 without copy. So that will be the gap within. So only the external line is what you concentrate your effort on in this level. So you do click finish on that. Then you reduce this or increase this one to 300 so that's more taller. So and then you go back to the material and you change it to normal grass which is aluminum 11 that will specify in that point so after which he has loaded and assigned the material to that particular drawing or what you just need to do let it update because the moment is not updating you may actually not get it done on your design so after which you update I feel like this time supposed to have done that so go to 3d and check what you have done and the 3D it has never been updated, so 
we need to go back there and go and check it and change it to 11. So the moment this update to self, then it's ready to do what to go for the purpose of the signing aspect. So a lot of things need to be done in Revit, which is what the area we specify that the image assigning should be more faster and more what engaging. So for now, at least it's distributed now, it's supposed to show. So click OK and say OK. So now it's there. So that aspect is done. So what you just need to do again and is to for you to begin to put flowers around this place. But before we go on and be creating flowers, I want to please create a flower first around this. Or, uh, the, the purpose of it is that as you have a flower or green area around the balcony and everywhere. So I'm going to create this and say, so I'm going to say component creation. So load, load model in place, I'm going to use casement and say OK. OK, OK as well. So I have option of using flower fast, I mean using instruction. <coughs> or, so here yeah, I'm going to use blend, blend. So for you who have never learned how to use blend before, this is the way of using blend in Revit. So the first thing is asking you is that the bottom is what is automatically going to be created. So I'm going to use this one. Inscribe to create that. So I'm putting this here. So the side is six side. I'm creating that. So the next one I'm going to create is the top. So I select that and I will say to so the second end is this. So as we click, is the first one as zero. The second one is what as two other than fifty. So you select this subscribe again or anyone you know that okay maybe it's a construct you want to use but what you need to do is to change this this number i'm going to change it to nine so it's the one that we now know how you're going to assign that in and give it be fitting so i'm using this one now create the top differently so what you do is this as you have done everything so you look at it from a 3d perspective and see what that has done for you so at this level we come to this place you can select it and, and just like zoom let's say zoom to fit so you can set your idea on this so you can imagine so everything you prompt itself to perfectly which is what we like seeing so this engaging aspect is there now but the whole issue is that it's not feasible at this level so we don't know why so you go to click number and select it here then you go to start elevation and go and see where it's based so the base is here and you have seen it so it's still engaging aspects of our reality you can still it to pick up and things like that so that's the flower first we have created so this one now you change the material take it from the side from the worst whether it's accurately in the position where we want it to be so good i think it's there so the holy thing now is that we get it done here by saying 3d select the material select it here good so at the same time put it like this and you say at this category so i'm going to use that white aluminium again that's what i want to use so as i have it now i can now copy it to as many pieces as i want so go to a certain patient at this place i'm going to be engaging it for now so click on this and then bring it remove it say remove constraint so you take it off. What did you say? Cannot, cannot copy. Why? So let's it again. To copy. More costly. Paste. So you bring it down again. Paste. 
So as many as place you want them to be, decide you against them around to the point that you are satisfied with what you are seeing. So that is what we have here, and that is what we have done. And that is the beauty of it. so from there you can now be taking a flower and be catching them up here. So we will let us quickly do that too or three before we proceed. So let's say in this junction now. I want to bring the flower, you click here, it's a component. So from here you select any flower, or you can do that from what from the masking and site. So all we just need to do is to click on the click again. So if you have to shoot like that, that's how you complete it just because of clicking on what that if you effect. So now what you do is that you select this and you just come to component and select the tree or silver that you know that you can like this I'm going to put it here so that's on the ground floor isn't it so go to search the location and see the kind of yeah this is the type that is available here so if it's too big for you you can push it up see how far it's okay by you and go on and select and push So since they are almost the same instance, you, you join them together like that, put it in place. So after we you look around, you see that okay, this actually is more engaging and more now looking somehow different from the beginning. So that is the essence of graphics work on everything. So can you see that we are bringing the green aspect into this design? So go to foundation and go and do the same thing with sites. Canada pick another one of a laser height and see it like this so you select just check the front first then you go to start elevation and see so you can imagine this is what you have so I'm leaving it like this for now these are the thing I'm going to use so you go to foundation again and from here you start copying all this So that's how you do work on this. So you do that again, go to 3D and see how far. Yes, you get a look what I want. So that is that. So from there now, you begin to work on every other aspect. Like, let's say I have a, let's say the architecture, I'm getting a component. So my component now, I look around. So I want to see what I have something like light ceiling light or things like that so like this pendant now can be attached to this part so you can imagine so you place it here to press escape that one is there so if you get another lighting options like this these are water so you select them move them around so if they have their own parts they can stay they do not have them move so you select some other one again then let them look around so what they have. so if you actually don't have much to do this is sweet light so you can bring this sweet light and put it somewhere here just go to foundation then you click on that component again so you can you can bring the sweet light to this point so look at it in 3d can see you can you are engaging all this thing one after the other. So this two flat can you need to raise it up to elevation at the zero you just raise it up to like six hundred to very much very compact. So good. So what else do you need to do? So so many things you need to rearrange each other from here. So the next thing you need to work on is still on the lighting aspect. So go to your uh, Component, let's say you go to level two, level three of roofing part, then you come to you come to 
model in place the model in place good here if you have any so i have said before for most of you that are need that in need of uh, uh, templates so you can contact me our journey is to become a member of this uh, channel so from there you'll be able to have access to most of the library that i'm using so that is the essence of being a member so it's this youtube that gave me that opportunity and which i want to share with you guys so that's why i say so now let us go to lighting and fissure so from here now we go to ceiling and then interior lighting so let's say i want it to be more bigger so big top name details the top names are not showing but don't worry so you should be able to see suspended one the one of ceiling ceiling lighting round so ceiling lamp things like that so let me just use ceiling lamp to so let the updates and then engage it with this part so it's there now you can just like paste it here and paste it here so for you now to see what you've done go to 3d or you can contact so this is what you have created which is too long and it's not fitting for outside so you delete that one you don't need it so go to go back to the component again then you select load this time around you bring like this ceiling ceiling linear so this is the ceiling lamp we use so i'm going to use ceiling linear at this junction so click here let it upgrade then you can do it from this if it's possible so if it's not possible you go back to check it whether you can hang yes it's possible here so you put it here at the same time engage it here so you do a lot of work in that line so by the time you are rendering all these are going to be coming out so before you can put any lights in here you need to create similar ceiling need to be here as well you can just copy this one and say copy to clipboard then bring it down to space to selected level so place to select a level two and click ok so when you see it it moves so it has moved down now the same thing you can do here and say copy to keyboard and then you do what select level and then paste level 2 and say ok so the engaging aspect is there so what is there is that the ceilings are not sure but it does not matter all you just need to do is select it and then you bring it down to the level of which that's supposed to be so go to level Two. I think it's a ceiling level 2 I think this is where you have your ceiling so if you are confused in that aspect you can do a, use another method to get what you need so it's not necessary that one single method so if you have different methods to achieve things in Revit so that is what we are trying to explain at this junction so when you go to elevation you can actually iron that out so the roofing the is all in the another another man floor so why do we do that you just select this select only the ceiling then from where you change the height to 2850 so it move down so as it move down it move all those things down as well can push it down now in the video so let's just say that's 2800 good so when you go back to this, this view you find it there it can snap so that is it so this one now has given you the idea of how the whole thing has to, is looking at so you engage yourself more in details development and things like that so select this and you can change the material and every other thing that you need that you need to know so for the proper activities so all you just need to do is to look at the area and blend it together so thanks for watching so we'll see you in the next tutorial and we we'll continue to engage yourself 